Okay, so you join me in the woods down where from where I live, where I filmed pretty sure the last video that I'd done. And uh, yeah, you can tell that it's snowed in the UK right now. <laughs> we got hit with quite a bit of a, a snow a snow session last night and uh, yeah, safe to say that everywhere it is absolutely covered and I drove in it which was, it wasn't actually that bad but it was a bit, um, the, the housing roads let's just say were worse obviously than the main roads and this was about half 12 at night so it wasn't probably the best thing to do but hey I've done it so I got, I managed to get back home so it ain't that big of a deal. Anyway, the plan of action today. Welcome to a new video. We're going to be going and head and collecting my Enduro GoPro Hero 9 batteries. And it's going to help a lot in, well, especially now that it's been snowing a bit more. So it was quite, quite lucky timing, really, if you ask me. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's go and get them. Let's go and have some fun. Okay, so I'm recording at 2.7K, 120 frames per second in wide, because unfortunately it doesn't do super view in 120 which would be really good if it did but it doesn't so it's not that bad because it can narrow it down you can see more details and stuff but I don't know if you can see now actually but I think it's now snowing again can you see that all on my jacket so I think it's now starting to snow again sick oh a bit slippery there <laughs> already all right so for anyone who's wondering how deep the snow is where I am at the moment right we'll get this stick right and, well, I nearly slipped over again. And we'll dip it in the snow right, so you can see. So we're gonna go for like a, a, a fair amount over here. We'll go for somewhere over here. Someone's obviously rid tracks or whatever here. So we'll go for this clean bit right down there. So if I dip that in here, you can see it's come straight up to that first one. That's all that, so it's about, I don't know, mm, that meter or so deep, maybe, already. I ain't that good with maths, so you have to bear with me if it's wrong. But I'd say it's about a meter deep already or so. So, it's not that bad, but it looks it looks worse, obviously, because look, there's loads of, like, obviously, look, there's loads of snow on top of each other. It's literally just piled on, piled on, piled on like it would do. So, that's probably why it looks as bad. Now we can just chuck that somewhere over there and see more snowfall. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm recording in 1080p, 124 frames per second in wide. How does it look now that we're coming out of like the underpass here in the UK? How does it look outside? Can you notice the difference maybe as the resolutions, uh, as the frame rate, sorry, is a bit high. So it's now uh, taken and it's now video in 124 like, frames of the video per second, if that makes sense. That's basically what it kind of is doing. So we're going to head into the little uh, retail park or so of uh, one of them where I am and this is all just slush now literally this is all just slush however one thing I've now just learned is that the front screen on the Hero 9 Black at 1080p 240 frames per second isn't actually showing my face normally it shows my face so I can see what I'm recording at and I can like line up that's why sometimes it looks like I'd, I'd like my eyes drift over to the left a little bit that's because I'm looking at that front screen but it's not doing that. The screen is just black and I can just see like how long I've been recording for and like little bits of information on the screen about the battery and stuff. So let me know uh, what you think. How does it look? All right, now I'm recording at 1080p, 60 frames per second, still in wide, but I brought the white balance down. The white balance before was on 55,000 Kelvin. That's probably why it looked, as I look back at the video, a bit, bit ooh, bit weird maybe. You might have seen a difference, you might not have, but looking back at it i saw a bit of a difference but when it gets uploaded probably not so we're slushing through and there's quite a lot of suvs here quite a lot of suvs and obviously as i'm a car person i've actually took my car i've actually walked believe it or not <laughs> so uh yeah i know what you're thinking well are you feeling all right yeah i just didn't know if i fancy driving in slush to be fair at the moment because it's not a very good idea to drive in it is it but hey ho well uh well, well, we'll see what happens you know we'll see what happens we'll see what uh, what cars go around as well Oh, there's a snowman over there. There you go, Mr. Snowman. Got his button, his arm. One arm off in the air and his uh, carrot for the nose. Decent snowman all around, isn't it, really? Let's be honest. At least they put some effort in. That's the first snowman I've seen, by the way. The first one I've seen. I thought the woods that I was walking through, I was going to see quite a bit. 
I thought like some of the kids around the local area where I live would have gone into the woods and built snowmen and stuff because there's quite a lot of snow around that bit as well to be fair as well not gonna lie so obviously people don't walk through it so until I did but yeah not too bad that's where we need to go where that blue sign is there oh gosh I'm now in uh, linear mode not narrow so I'm now in linear so it's a bit more zoomed in on my face how how are you finding it now you probably could see a bit more detail of me or like my face and stuff never did the 1080p as it's low resolution but a bit more high frame rate I've uh, dropped it down to 60 days from 240 so it's gone uh, it was up but I've dropped it down but you might see a bit more hood in detail with uh, lower frames per second so the camera doesn't have to work as much to create that detail it can uh, just happen naturally let me know how uh, what, what you think obviously in the comments get them comments going let me know how it's all going oh there's like a snowman started to um to do all right here we are this is where we need to go i don't know if i'll be able to film in here but i'll see yes collected i couldn't film really because i didn't know if everyone wanted it so i wasn't gonna we've got them let's run all right so this is what they it's, it's looking like you know it says uh, uh longer lasting plus wide temperature range batteries for the Hero 10 black and for the Hero 9 black but it also says down here it's compatible with the 11 which I'm sure everyone already knows that is a GoPro user just you know some white batteries in the charger so uh, and uh, the cable should come in if not I've got, I've got the cable at home that you used to plug the GoPro in if you have one battery which I've been doing so that shouldn't be a problem also but it should come in with with the cable anyway I think can't really tell by shaking it but I thought you might have been <laughs> <laughs> ah, crouch recovery. Anyone that watches Truck in Hell will know. <laughs> a bit of a nerd there, really, ain't I? But yeah, so the thing with the Enduro batteries, I probably should explain if people don't know what the Enduro battery is, because I know that people are going to say, well, what's the difference between the normal battery and the Enduro battery? So the normal battery and the Enduro battery both carry the same uh, electric like capacity. I can't remember what it's called, but they both carry the same um, amperage. Sorry, that's the one. But somehow and some way, everyone has been saying that. I've seen reviews on it. GoPro has done something where you can uh, record longer, 38% longer, I believe it is, for the Hero 8, 9, and 10. Oh uh, no, for the 9, uh, 10, and 11, sorry. And then you've got uh, the uh, ability for it to charge a lot faster as well, which is helpful, because if you're out and about and you need it to be charged, then you can. It just makes it a lot easier in, to, in doing that, don't it really, instead of waiting for the normal battery. So I think it's, I think it's, it's like 38% faster charging as well and obviously in temperatures like this where it's cold at the moment I think it's like 1 or 0 degrees or minus 1 something, something, something around that temperature here at the moment where I am it's uh, obviously going to be ideal to get better uh, you know better um, better battery usage and a better battery because obviously the cold as I said as I am um, done yesterday actually near my girlfriend's house the cold didn't uh, yeah it wasn't very helpful for the GoPro Okay, so, just seen a snowman by the way, so that's two snowmen I've seen on this trip. Well, three and a half if you can count it. Well, one, two and a half if you can count the one that I put like a bit of a, a snowball on top of it or whatever. But yeah, we've seen two and a half, let's say. Or we'll just say we've seen two and make it easier. And uh, so, with the battery as well, what you're gonna want is you're gonna want bigger performance with your GoPro. I nearly slipped again. And I've done that quite a lot. And with the GoPro, obviously when you you know you load it up and you fire it up and you're you know you're recording your activities with like the low shots, high shots, chesty, the head strap and you know sucking cup to your car, or whatever, you want you you know you want the best performance, which everyone does really, don't they, let's be honest. And that's where the Enduro battery apparently comes in as well. So with that, I'm probably gonna make a separate video on with the Enduro battery performance, but you probably won't be able to see a difference or anything to be honest with you. But I might be able to because obviously I've used the GoPro off the camera a lot, obviously. But on camera, you probably won't see a difference because again it's annoying. The GoPro's got the GP1 chip in it still from the seven from the eight, seven, six, and five and all the ones below it as well, which is annoying. So I don't know why they didn't just upgrade to the GoPro uh, the the GP2 chip which would have given me a bit better response more power better performance and apparently the GP2 chip as well makes the uh, the clouds upload a lot better as well to your cloud on the GoPro app as well so yeah anyone that's got a GoPro 10 or whatever let me know in the comments below I'm interested to see what it is to be fair not gonna lie so 
yeah, it, it gives you more power, which and it gives you better performance, which is good, obviously, especially in these cold conditions as well, like I've said. So we'll see, really, we'll see. But I'm out of breath. <laughs> Not gonna lie. So I took my GoPro down near uh, my girlfriend's house yesterday. It was like a little, uh, like a little uh, flow through stream with trees and like, you know, like a little. Uh, wood bit that I've just gone through earlier in the video but more open sort of thing and water running all the way down between so I went uh, down there yesterday if you can kind of picture it of what I've described to you and uh, the GoPro was on 20% I believe and as soon as I started the GoPro up it was just saying it was just uh, low battery which yeah it was and it was shutting off is that a thing that is good or not because i couldn't actually get the gopro started up again i think it actually uh died uh and it was just that cold it didn't want to start back up again because it was so cold but i believe it's probably the battery so i've got high hopes with the enduro batteries i really do i've got high hopes and as it's just happened to snow here where i am it'd be quite a good test won't it so whoa that was close so yeah it'll be quite helpful and it's quite a good timing really overall you know, provide I don't injure myself, but if I injure myself, then it's just shit time, and we'll just say that. I'm nearly home. I'm like about two, three minutes away, so I'm gonna um, get in, get in my bedroom, get set up with the tripod or whatever, and we'll do an unboxing. I'll see you then. Okay, so I'm back. The obviously the selfie stick is quite cold itself, but the camera is not too bad, so. That's what uh, comes out of the packet. Obviously, it might be a bit back to front on camera. So just like just like normal batteries, really. Nothing too, nothing too crazy. And it says uh, pro tip for the best cold weather performance, which you might be able to use on your standard battery, but probably not. It's up to you if you want to give it a go. Charge enduro battery or standard battery, but enduro battery, 100% before each use. Keep enduro battery warm by strong storing it enclosed to your body installed in camera is fine when not using so you can put it in the camera when you're not using that will be fine anyway and then uh, number three in temperatures below 14 degrees fahrenheit minus 10 degrees recording frequent video clips can warm the camera and battery to extend performance so you, a little few things there to keep the battery up and running quite good and uh and then you get like those of like GoPro stuff, you know how it all goes and stuff from the GoPro. I've just dropped the flaming thingy. Ah. All right, I've just dropped the. Hey guys, so this is the um the thing that you get with it, obviously. Like the the pack, which this just slots in in there as well, which is quite helpful. And then I didn't actually expect it just to be out and in the wild like that. Jesus Christ, I'm literally dropping everything here. And then you get the Enduro battery. So obviously the difference between this one and the regular one is obviously this is white, the other one's blue. This is for this is made for good cold weather, other ones not. So and obviously in the packet as well you get another one which lets you just should slot in like this and like this there you go and well you know, it's quite stable really i don't know about shaking it that much there you go so shaking it about a bit it's not too bad it stays in which is is helpful you might be able to charge it in your backpack Guaranteed charging probably isn't there though, so I would think about that before you go and do that. And then, very, very helpful, obviously, I have a nice, I think it's USB C, I'm pretty sure, that you get with it as well, which is quite helpful. So, which I'm pretty sure is the same as this. Hang on. Alright, so this is the new cable that we got, which you're not going to really tell the difference of, and this is wrapped up, and then this is the one that I've been using, and this is obviously open, this is what I've been using to charge the GoPro with, so into a power source, and then just, you know, this bit here straight into the GoPro, and that into the power source, and it charges the GoPro, 
which is helpful as I have only had one battery for like three months or so and obviously this is the new one which I can feel this one feels a lot thicker as well so it should last longer so you give it like a little knock or whatever it's not really gonna make much of a difference but give like the thinner one a knock after a while it will make probably a bit of a difference so but other than that it's not too shabby and then this just plugs in there like that and then I'll take you as well I thought I'd probably should put the light on because the lighting doesn't look very good on the front screen I'll just chuck that over there and then this should just fit we'll plug it into the Xbox for a, you know for a start and see if it should work but that's in the Xbox and there you go lights have come on so it is working so it's charging so obviously these means that it's charging we've got uh, two on the yellow and then these will go green obviously once they charge so that's very helpful so I'll keep them on charge there and uh, see what happens when we go near the window again with the lighting so yeah, now it's not too bad with the lighting but hey -oh. okay so that's the end of uh, the little well, the trip to the, the, the Euro batteries. Euro batteries there. So, uh, yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe. Let me know if you've got any of these as well in the comments below. It'd be quite interesting to see. And uh, if you've got the 10, the 9, or the 11, which is what they're only going to use for. So, there's no point saying you've got the 8 and they work for the 8 because they don't. So, the 9, 10, and 11 only. But, yeah. Pick some up if you can. I reckon these actually might be quite decent, uh, decent batteries there. Uh, what I'm looking at. So, yeah. And it is obviously... From GoPro, but it just got shipped to a closer store so I can go and get it basically. So it's very helpful. So, yeah, make sure to like, subscribe, kill notification bell so you don't miss when I go live or even post on YouTube. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one where probably will be a test for the Enduro battery. I'll see you then.